I am excited to share with you today's message on setting and achieving goals. Are you a person that struggles with setting goals and actually following through to achieve them? You are not alone. In fact, many people struggle with this very same challenge. But here's the good news. By listening to this message, you can turn things around and start achieving your goals like never before. Today, I will be sharing with you five powerful ways to set goals and actually achieve them. These are the same strategies that have helped me and countless others to reach our dreams and live a fulfilling life. So if you're ready to take control of your life and make your goals a reality, then let's dive in. Together, we will learn how to set meaningful goals, develop a plan of action, stay motivated, and overcome any obstacles that may come our way. I promise you, by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to set and achieve your goals, and you will be equipped with the tools to make it happen. So, let's get started on this journey towards success and achievement. Let's get started. Starting with number five, which is set goals and achieve them by staying motivated and committed. Staying motivated and committed is not as easy as it sounds. It takes discipline, perseverance, and a strong mindset to stay on track and achieve your goals. You see, setting goals is the easy part. Anyone can do it. But the real challenge lies in staying motivated and committed to those goals. It's like planting a seed. You can't just plant it and expect it to grow on its own. You have to water it, nurture it, and give it the right environment for it to grow into a beautiful tree. Similarly, you can't just set goals and expect them to manifest magically. You have to put in the work and stay motivated and committed to make them a reality. So how do we stay motivated and committed to our goals? The first step is to have a strong why. Your why is the reason behind your goals. It's what drives you and keeps you going when the going gets tough. As the saying goes, when your why is strong, your how becomes easy. So ask yourself, why do you want to achieve this goal? What will it bring into your life? How will it make you feel? Your why should be powerful enough to push you through any obstacles that come your way. The second step is to have a clear vision. You must have a crystal clear vision of what you want to achieve. This vision should be so vivid that you can almost taste it, feel it, and see it. When your vision is clear, it becomes easier to stay motivated and committed because you know exactly what you are working towards. So take some time to visualize your goals and make them as real as possible in your mind. The third step is to break down your goals into smaller, achievable tasks. Sometimes our goals can seem overwhelming and daunting, which can lead to a lack of motivation. But when we break them down into smaller tasks, it becomes more manageable and less intimidating. This also gives us a sense of accomplishment every time we complete a task, which in turn motivates us to keep going. The fourth step is to surround yourself with the right people. We are greatly influenced by the people we surround ourselves with, so it's important to choose wisely. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you, who believe in you and your goals. These people will not only motivate you, but also hold you accountable and keep you committed to your goals. And finally, the fifth step is to celebrate your wins, no matter how small they may seem. Often we get so caught up in achieving our goals that we forget to celebrate our progress. But celebrating our wins, no matter how small, gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivates us to keep going. So make sure to take the time to celebrate your progress and give yourself a pat on the back. One of my favorite quotes from the great Zig Ziglar says, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Staying motivated and committed is not a one-time thing. It's a daily practice. Just like we have to brush our teeth every day to maintain good dental hygiene, we have to work on our motivation and commitment every day to achieve our goals. Which leads us to number four, which is creating a plan and setting a timeline. Now I know some of you may be thinking, why do I need a plan? Can't I just work hard and see where it takes me? 
Well, my friends, let me tell you this. Without a plan, you are like a ship without a captain, drifting aimlessly in the sea. You may have all the determination and hard work, but without a plan, you will not reach your desired destination. Creating a plan is like drawing a map that will guide you towards your goals. It gives you a clear direction and helps you stay focused on your journey. Just like a map, a plan will have different routes and detours, but it will ultimately lead you to your destination. Without a plan, you will be lost and you will waste your time and energy trying to figure out what to do next. Now let's talk about setting a timeline. Time is the most valuable asset we have. It is the one thing that we cannot buy or get back. And that is why it is crucial to set a timeline for our goals. Without a timeline, our goals will remain dreams and we will never take action towards achieving them. Think about it. If you have a deadline for a project at work, you are more likely to get it done, right? The same principle applies to our personal goals. When we set a timeline, we create a sense of urgency and it motivates us to take action towards our goals. But creating a plan and setting a timeline is not just about writing down a list of things to do and setting a deadline. It is about being strategic and realistic. You must have a clear understanding of your goals and what it takes to achieve them. You must break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks and set a timeline for each of them. This will not only help you stay on track, but it will also give you a sense of accomplishment as you complete each task. Another crucial aspect of creating a plan and setting a timeline is to be flexible. Life is unpredictable and things may not always go as planned, but that should not discourage you from pursuing your goals. Instead, be open to making adjustments and changes to your plan when necessary. Remember the destination may remain the same, but the journey may have a few detours. Now, some of you may be wondering, how do I create a plan and set a timeline? Well, my friends, it all starts with clarity. You must have a clear understanding of what you want to achieve and why you want to achieve it. Once you have that, start by writing down your goals. Be specific and make sure your goals are measurable. This will help you track your progress and make adjustments if needed. Next, break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks. This will make your goals less daunting and more manageable. Then set a timeline for each task, keeping in mind that it should be realistic and achievable. Remember, it is better to set a longer timeline and achieve your goals than to set an unrealistic one and feel discouraged when you don't meet it. But creating a plan and setting a timeline is not enough. You must also take action. As I have said before, a plan without action is just a dream. So make sure you take consistent action towards your goals. And don't forget to celebrate your victories along the way. This will keep you motivated and give you the energy to keep going. Which leads us to number three, which is set goals and achieve them by breaking them down into smaller, achievable tasks. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one that is often overlooked. We tend to set big, lofty goals for ourselves, which is great, but we often get overwhelmed and discouraged when we don't see immediate results. This is where breaking down our goals into smaller tasks can make all the difference. Let me give you an example. Say you have a goal to lose 50 pounds in a year. That may seem like a daunting task. And if you focus solely on that end goal, you may feel discouraged and give up before even starting. But if you break it down into smaller achievable tasks, such as losing five pounds in the first month, then another five in the second month and so on, suddenly that big goal doesn't seem so scary anymore. And before you know it, you have achieved your ultimate goal of losing 50 pounds. Breaking down our goals into smaller tasks not only makes them more manageable, but it also allows us to track our progress and celebrate our achievements along the way. It gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivates us to keep going. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. Similarly, our goals won't be achieved in a day, but by breaking them down into smaller tasks, we can make steady progress towards them. Now you may be wondering, 
How do we go about breaking down our goals into smaller tasks? The first step is to clearly define your end goal. What is it that you want to achieve? Be specific and make sure it is something that truly matters to you. Next, ask yourself, what are the steps I need to take to reach that goal? Write them down and prioritize them in order of importance. Once you have your list of steps, it's time to break them down even further into smaller, achievable tasks. Let's go back to the example of losing 50 pounds. One of the steps may be to start exercising regularly. Now, this may seem like a big task, but by breaking it down into smaller tasks, such as going for a 30-minute walk every day or joining a fitness class, suddenly it becomes more manageable. Another important aspect of breaking down our goals is to set a timeline. This not only helps us stay on track, but it also creates a sense of urgency and motivates us to take action. Going back to our weight loss example, if we have a goal to lose five pounds in the first month, we can set a timeline of going for a walk every day for 30 minutes and cutting out junk food for the next four weeks. This gives us a clear plan of action and a specific deadline to work towards. Now, I want to address a common mistake that many people make when setting goals and breaking them down into tasks, and that is trying to do too much too soon. We all want to see results quickly, but the truth is sustainable progress takes time. It's important to set realistic and achievable tasks for ourselves. Don't overwhelm yourself with a long list of tasks that you know deep down you won't be able to complete. Start small and build upon your successes. Lastly, I want to emphasize the importance of consistency. It's not enough to break down our goals into smaller tasks. We must also commit to taking action every day. Consistency is key in achieving any goal. It's the small daily actions that add up to big results. So make a commitment to yourself to stick to your plan and complete your tasks every day, no matter how small they may seem. Which leads us to number two, which is set goals and achieve them by making them specific and measurable. Now, you may be wondering, why is this step so important? Well, let me tell you, my friends, setting specific and measurable goals is the key to turning your dreams into reality. It is the difference between merely wishing for something and actually making it happen. Think about it. When we set vague and general goals, such as, I want to be successful or I want to be rich. We are not giving ourselves a clear target to aim for. It's like shooting an arrow without a target. You may hit something, but you won't know if it's the right thing. On the other hand, when we set specific and measurable goals, we are creating a roadmap for our success. We know exactly what we want to achieve and we have a way to measure our progress towards it. Let me share a personal experience with you. When I first started my journey towards success, I had a vague goal of being wealthy. But as I learned more about goal setting, I realized that I needed to be more specific. So I set a goal to earn $100,000 in a year. This goal was specific and it was measurable. I could track my progress and see if I was on the right track. And you know what? I achieved that goal and it was a pivotal moment in my life. From that day on, I understood the power of setting specific and measurable goals. Now, let me break down these two elements for you. First, specificity. When we set specific goals, we are giving ourselves a clear target to aim for. We are defining exactly what we want to achieve. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, we can say, I want to start my own business and make a profit of $50,000 in the first year. Do you see the difference? The latter is more specific, and it gives us a clear picture of what we want to achieve. Next, let's talk about measurability. This is where we give ourselves a way to track our progress towards our goals. It's like having a GPS on a road trip. We need to know if we are heading in the right direction. Measurability also allows us to celebrate our small wins along the way. For example, if our goal is to lose 20 pounds in a year, we can set a monthly goal of losing two pounds. 
This way we can track our progress and celebrate each milestone. But here's the thing, my friends. Setting specific and measurable goals is not enough. We also need to have a plan to achieve them. You see, goals without a plan are just wishes. We need to break down our goals into smaller, actionable steps. This will make our goals more manageable and less overwhelming. It's like eating an elephant. We can't do it in one bite, but we can take one bite at a time. Another crucial aspect of achieving our goals is accountability. We need to hold ourselves accountable for our actions and progress. And one way to do this is by sharing our goals with others. When we tell someone else about our goals, we are making a commitment, not just to ourselves, but to them as well. This creates a sense of responsibility and motivation to follow through. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, what if I don't achieve my goals? My answer to that is, it's okay to fail. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. We learn and grow from our failures. And if we don't achieve our goals, it means we need to reevaluate our approach and make necessary changes. As long as we keep moving forward, we are on the right track. Which leads us to number one, which is set goals and achieve them by writing down your goals. Now you may be thinking, what's the big deal about writing down your goals? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it is the key to unlocking your potential and turning your dreams into reality. You see, our minds are powerful, but they can also be easily distracted. We have so many thoughts and ideas floating around that it can be overwhelming. But when we take the time to write down our goals, we are giving our minds a clear direction. We are telling our brains, this is what I want to achieve, and this is how I'm going to do it. Writing down your goals also gives you a sense of accountability. When you put pen to paper, you are making a commitment to yourself. You are saying, I am serious about achieving this goal, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen. This sense of accountability will push you to take action and stay focused on your goals. But writing down your goals is not just about making a commitment to yourself. It is also about creating a roadmap for success. When you write down your goals, you are essentially creating a plan of action. You are breaking down your big dreams into smaller, achievable steps. This not only makes your goals more manageable, but it also gives you a clear path to follow. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have my goals in my head. I don't need to write them down. Trust me, my friends, I have been there. I used to think the same way. But let me tell you, there is a significant difference between having your goals in your head and having them written down on paper. When your goals are just in your head, they can easily get lost in the chaos of everyday life. But when you write them down, you are giving them a physical form. You are giving them life. And when you see your goals written down in front of you, it becomes real. It becomes something tangible that you can work towards. Furthermore, writing down your goals helps you to stay focused and motivated. Life can be unpredictable, and there will be times when you may feel discouraged or lose sight of your goals. But when you have them written down, you can always refer back to them. You can remind yourself of why you started and reignite that fire within you. Your written goals will serve as a constant reminder of your purpose and keep you on track towards achieving them. Now, I want to emphasize the importance of writing down your goals in detail. Don't just write, I want to be successful. Be specific. What does success mean to you? Is it financial freedom? Is it starting your own business? Is it traveling the world? Write down your goals in as much detail as possible. The more specific you are, the more likely you are to achieve them. And don't be afraid to dream big. As the saying goes, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. So don't limit yourself when writing down your goals. Allow yourself to dream without boundaries and write them down with conviction. But writing down your goals is just the first step. The next crucial step is taking action. You can have the most detailed and well-written goals, but if you don't take action, they will remain just words on a piece of paper. 
So, my friends, I urge you to take action towards your goals every single day. Even if it's just a small step, it is still progress. And progress, no matter how small, is what will ultimately lead you to success. Writing down your goals is not just a simple task. It is a powerful tool that will help you to set and achieve your goals. It will give you clarity, accountability, and a roadmap to success. So my friends, I challenge you to take out a pen and paper and start writing down your goals today. I promise you, it will be the best decision you ever make. Thank you.